The Mount Shasta Police Department is getting its canine program back and just in time for National Dog Day. Action News Now reporter Elizabeth Zeladon breaks down how this will benefit the department. Ellen, it's been nearly two decades since the Mount Shasta Police Department had a canine unit. And with a little help, it wasn't too rough to bring it back. And now officers say that these special officers, these canine officers, will help the community in ways we couldn't even imagine. Just like every great story in 2019, it all started with the social media post. I will release the canine if you don't show your hands. This video of the Mount Shasta police officers using an unconventional police canine sparked a conversation. Why not have a real police canine unit? Then, thanks to the help of an organization, the idea is becoming a reality. City Council, on which is kind of awesome that it happened to be National Dog Day, um, all, they voted 4-0 in favor of uh, restarting the program. The lieutenant says... There is an officer already interested in becoming the first handler. And the canine officer would be joining the team as early as next month. We plan on having vehicle all set up and everything done. And we're working, we're really going to work hard probably starting tomorrow um, as far as contacting the different breeders and getting an animal. However, there is still a lot of training needed before the officers could be out in the field. But once the training is complete, there would be no doubt to the value these canines would bring. Our canine officers are probably the most utilized and most useful uh, piece of equipment that we have. So we utilize them to locate, you know, people, narcotics, contraband, articles, um, you know, evidence, anything, anything uh, that you can imagine. Our dogs can, you know, utilize their their sense of smell to to help us locate things. Officers in Reading who have an established team say they're excited for their brothers in Mount Shasta and are willing to help in any way they can. We're just a short drive away, come on down and, you know, if you have any uh, questions or need help with something, give us a call or come train with us. The department is now hoping to find the right dog for the job. He has to be friendly for co the community, but yet tough enough to bring down any bad guys. Reporting live in Reading, Elizabeth Celidon, Action News Now. Great story. Thank you, Elizabeth. Now, the organization helping the department will pay for the first two years of the program. The department hopes to pay for the rest.